Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at Rainbow Max Link's Piccolo Jr. Giant Form, of course, the Golden Week Dual Dokkan Fest character from 2023's Golden Week Celebration. Fully Link leveled up here, Big Bad Boss is the works. Let's go take a look at his build. So for this character, I gave him just straight up, no holds bars, max additional. Like this is a character that you just want to go max additional on. Um, I guess if you're somebody who really enjoys dodging, you could potentially give him some more dodge, but with this character having a really powerful giant form mechanic similarly to orange pickle i don't think it's as good as orange piccolo's giant form but it, it is like i guess at least comparable to the orange piccolo form um, i think it is pretty important to go offense for this character and the reason why i think additional is what you want to do here is because number one he's already effective against all types when facing one enemy and then number two he works very similarly to characters that like like uh Intnamic Goku and AGL full power freeze. So if we take a look at his kit here, uh the passive. He gets a high chance to perform an additional super attack when uh attacking in slots two or three. And the way that works is let's say for example you attack in slot two, you do one super attack, that gives you a 50% chance to activate the additional uh super, right? If that fails, it will go to the Hidden Potential System. And if you activate your Hidden Potential System attack, that is then a separate 50% roll to get the 50% uh, chance to get the super. So uh, because it works like that, it just additional becomes very, very powerful for this character. Like the chances that, the additional chances it gives you to get those additional supers is really strong. So I, I really recommend that you guys go additional on this character. So he's looking at 17.4K attack, which is really high, um, of course, and then 13.4 thousand defense. I did end up giving him a lot of attack equips. These are like the special equips that I think we got from the, I believe it was like the Worldwide Download Wicked Bloodline event. So he's getting an extra 900 attack from gold. He's getting an extra 200 attack from the silver, and of course, 500 attack from bronze. So he's at, what is that? An extra 1600 attack just from equips alone. So that's really, <laughs> That is a lot That is because he would have been otherwise he would have been at 15.8k attack here but that's a big boost for piccolo so uh we are going to be running the tech goku team i think he works just better on this team generally um one reason why is because for goku also he uh of course links up pretty well ma jr links up pretty well with the uh lr metal cooler and then of course if metal cooler dies that gives goku just a you win button pretty much like he, he can't take damage he's doing a million bajillion damage so this is what we're going to go with here. Uh, we are going to go into the Super 17 fight. And the reason why I picked this fight is because, number one, Piccolo doesn't actually do a key base super. Uh, the animation for the explosive demon wave actually starts as like him using his stretchy arm or whatever like to grab the enemy. So I guess technically it doesn't count as a, a, key, blast, a key base super. Um, and also the fact that it starts out with two enemies. So we can automatically right away activate his uh, active skill. Other than that, pretty self-explanatory. We have STR Krillin on the team, we have Yajirobe, we have Kid Goku. So let's go ahead and, and uh, see if we can get some good footage for Piccolo Jr. here. Starting out right away is pretty good. Let's make sure we have the skip off. Alrighty, so since LR Metal Cooler is on the other rotation, we will have to float him off. Um, I will also float off Kid Goku here. So first things first, of course, we want to use the active skill because the way this Piccolo works is for every enemy you hit with his active skill. So because there's only two enemies here, uh, using the active skill here, actually it, it counts towards building up the 100% attack and defense. Uh, so if we take a look at his passive, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each super attack performed up to 100%. Using his active skill and we hit two enemies counts as two instances of the 20% attack and defense getting added to his stats, right? So 
after using the active skill, he will already be at 40 out of 100% extra stats. So that's why that's really important. All right, so we're going to go ahead. <laughs> this is a very technical character, so I, I apologize for explaining so much here, but we're going to go ahead and use the active skill, but we're going to make sure to use the active skill on uh, in slot two. And the reason why, I, I should probably just keep this pulled up. And the reason why is because he gets an additional attack and defensive boost of 100% when attacking in slot two. And he gets a 50% chance of launching an additional super as the second or third attacker in the turn. So if we use the active skill in slot two, he will be getting those buffs even if we then move him to slot one, right? Um, so unfortunately, the way it worked out is the enemy is not attacking in the front there because otherwise we could have moved Piccolo to slot one and then had him get hit and then we would have gotten an additional 60% um, attack and defense. But he also gets an additional attack and defense plus 100% for attacking in slot one. So what I'll do here is I'll use the active skill in slot two. It'll hit both the enemies. I'll get the extra 100% attack and defense and I'll get the additional chance to or the high chance to get my additional super. Then what I'll do is I'll move him into slot one and attack in slot one, which will then, of course, give him the um, extra 100% chance, or, sorry, 100% attack and defensive boost. So that's the reasoning behind why I'm doing what I'm doing in this turn. Just really wanted to explain that because this character is very, very, um, he's complex, but he, he's very technical. There's, there's a lot of technical aspects to why I'm using him the way I'm using him. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and attack here with his active skill and uh, we'll see what kind of damage we do All right, so not the craziest damage of all time, but that did help him build up his attack and defense from the supers. And of course it gave him the extra buff of him attacking in slot two. So now we're gonna go ahead and move him to slot one. He's gonna have three links active with Goku. Not actually a terrible linking partner here. We have Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls and Fierce Battle active. So we take a look at his stats here. He's at 600K defense already. Him being in slot one, he's going to get another 100% attack and defense. And then when he is super, when he super attacks, not only is he going to be getting the additional 20% stack from his passive, he's also going to be getting the 30% one turn stack from his super attack effect as well. So let's actually attack. <laughs> Enough explaining. Let's actually play. Uh, we only really need to get one orbs. Let's do this uh, with Goku. We'll... Let's just, I, I want to make sure Kid Goku gets the orbs he needs. I'm going to actually attack this other guy with uh, Goku in the middle. And then Kid Goku, we can shift back over to you. Perfect. All right, let's see. Remember, this is without big bad bosses, by the way. All right, 12.6. He can do five supers, just so you know. <laughs> wow, he did one. That is ridiculously unlucky. I have 25. Five additional on my Piccolo. So, just for context, remember, so his entrance animation buff. His entrance animation buff gives him a 50% chance to launch an additional super for the first turn. So we failed a 50% chance to additional from the entrance buff. We failed a 50% chance to additional from him being in slots 2 and 3. We failed a 30% chance to additional, and then we failed a 50% chance to additional again from the hidden potential system. So we actually failed three coin flips in a row, and then we failed a 30% chance. That is really, really unlucky. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow, that is so unlucky. I mean, I, I am kind of glad we got that in uh, the video because, I mean, that's something that can potentially happen with this character. This character is just heavily RNG, RNG based, right? So for characters like this, I mean, you could also sort of point to like, you know, LR STR Cooler as a, a similar character to this, where a lot of what he's doing is dependent upon RNG. He's getting extra attack from attacking. He's getting extra defense from attacking. So if he doesn't super, he's not going to have a lot of attack or defense. This is the way it is, right? Same thing with this Piccolo. This Piccolo is building up depending on how many supers he does. Now, we, we cheated a little bit 
quote unquote cheated a little bit because we uh, ended up going into an event that allowed him to use his active skill right away to give him a bit of a boost. But that was really, really unlucky. That was so annoying. I actually can't believe he only did one attack. Okay. Um, I think I will keep Piccolo in slot two. So because this is the, this is my Goku's first turn. He is gonna he's gonna be guarding guaranteed. So I'll just keep him there. Um, actually, do I? <sighs> he's not gonna kill him. Yeah, we'll we'll just keep it like this. And the on the turn following this, we will have Metal Cooler rotating onto here, which is good because that will be our final turn with our entrance buff. And we, okay, I'm glad I didn't put Piccolo there. Um, and we'll have Big Bad Bosses activated with uh, Metal Cooler. Okay, well, unfortunately, <laughs> only attacked once. Sure, man. Right, let's see what he gives us here. We only need to super twice to get his... Um, okay, so 10 million. I mean, he's just dead. He's not going to live this. We need to super one more time to get his full uh, passive. He's dead. Now we're going into the Super 17 phase here. This is actually a pretty bad rotation. Wow. What did item did I bring? I might just use that. I'm just going to use that. I don't care. This is a terrible... Our rotations in this fight have been absolutely terrible. 11 orbs for him is good. Yeah, we're fine. I don't care about Yadrovi attacking, who cares? Alright, next turn should be a pretty damn good turn for Piccolo. Entrance animation buff still active. We're gonna have big bad bosses with Metal Cooler. He is only one super attack away from being fully built up. So he, he should be looking pretty good. I'm actually curious to see where the super attack or where the um where the boss is gonna be attacking next turn and what slots. He's really going to Super Yajirobe at the end. Watch this. you got to be kidding me. There's no way. Okay. Alright. Um. So we have 5 out of 7 activated with Pickle on slot 2. 658. The only problem is I think there's a real... Because he didn't super last time, I think there's a really, really high chance he just supers right away in <laughs> slot one. Um, And if we move Piccolo into slot one, he's of course going to lose the Dragon Ball Link's Incredible Adventure and Guide to the... What, what do those give? Let me just make sure I, I know. So we're going to be losing 7% attack and defense and then 20% attack. So we're, we're going to be losing 27% attack. 7% defense and 7% crit chance. Um, I feel like I just want to put him in slot 1 for this one. Let's just leave him here and see how it goes. I I'm curious. How does this go? Okay, he didn't super right away, which is good. We're going to get our extra stats here. I'm really hoping he just supers right now. Like, super Piccolo right now. Okay, 16 million. He's fully built up now. Give me one more, one more, one more. Oh, <laughs> you think this is going to do damage, huh? <laughs> you think this is actually going to hurt, do you? Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Uh, Metal Cooler will take a lot of damage. He hasn't taken a single hit, I don't think, right? Eh, that's not horrible. Ah, uh, that's it. We won. I mean, game over. <laughs> that was pretty good. I mean, this guy still hits pretty hard, right? Super 17. He's not like a pushover. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll we'll go into one more event here, and we'll see how he does. That was a pretty good first look, I think. Maybe we'll go into the Broly event. Red Zone Broly. I did the Red Zone Broly stage with the. Uh, in the Goku's showcase. We might as well just do the same thing for Piccolo, right? No reason not to. Um, <laughs> we actually could lose here. I don't know if this Goku's guarding. Let's just let's just roll the dice. I don't really care if we lose. We, we saw what we came to see with Piccolo, so. 
Whatever happens, happens. Alright, do your worst. Oh, nice. He's guarding. Okay. He's not pulled up at all, though, because they floated him off, but he should still be fine. No super? Okay. This kid Goku easily could kill him. All he needs to do is crit once and he's dead, I think. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think we'll jump into the Brawly stage. Let's let's get that set up here. All right, let's head in with this setup here. Uh, it's pretty much the same. I mean, it's not the same as I did for the Goku Showcase, but I I'm going to throw Yajirobe on here. And of course, we're running the package of Piccolo and Metal Cooler because they work really well together. Um, I don't really see a major issue here. Actually, you know what I'll do is I'll replace this Princess Snake with um, a Wii, just in case we need to just like get the hell out of the AOE phase as soon as possible. All right, let's see. Let's see what we're looking like here. Okay, so Metal Cooler is in turn one. I'm just gonna undo the entrance animations. Wait, I'll skip those. And we already saw the basically every single um, active skill anyway, so we'll, we'll skip those as well. All right, so we're gonna rotate Metal Cooler off, of course, so we can get him with, uh, with Piccolo. This so the friend, unfortunately, is Rainbow, but he has like full link level ones, so. Uh, we'll just get him built up as much as we can here. I'm kind of hoping that <laughs> Broly does not super Metal Cooler at the end. We at least have a chance that Metal Cooler will uh, nullify it because it's melee based, right? But uh, he, it could hurt, so we'll have to be on the lookout for that. The problem here as well is I don't want to do too much damage to this guy because Piccolo does need to get built up. I don't want to be going into the next turn with, like, this guy at zero HP. I'm really hoping Kid Goku doesn't crit. Okay, he's not going to super cooler at the end. It's fine. All right, don't crit. Okay, good. That's fine. No, don't crit. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Alright. How do I- oh, you crit too? God damn it. Uh, how do I want to proceed here? I think I'm just gonna put him in slot one. Remember, he still has a 50% chance to additional from his entrance, and he has a 30% chance, and he basically has another 50% chance because of my hidden potential build. So I think we'll just put him in slot one. He's going to be at a pretty decent level once he gets hit first. Um, so let's do this. This. And we'll do this. All right. Nine point three. All right. <laughs> He's probably just going to kill him in one hit, huh? He's not living this. Oh, he lived. Oh, that's actually really good. Okay, nice. We got two stacks. Perfect. That is really good. I mean, he's looking good already, right? <laughs> 9.3 into an 11 million. Both effective against all types. And he's at like... I mean, on this turn, on that turn, he was still like pretty close to a million defense. Just turn one. Uh, All right, let's just do this. Please be guarding. Please be guarding. Um, yeah, I'll do that. All right, guard away. Great. One thing we did not see in the previous fight was, of course, the giant transformation. Uh, for that to activate, we have to be below 60% HP, and it has to be turn 4 or later. And the reason why that's so good is because the turn you leave the giant transformation, the enemy cannot super attack. <laughs> so, it I don't want to call it a Ghost Usher, but it basically is a Ghost Usher, because typically by the time you're able to fall below that HP threshold, 
your characters on your rotations have been built up enough to the point where they can pretty much eat supers or sorry eat uh, eat normal attacks completely fine so if you know the enemy isn't going to super attack like you're probably good to go and this is another unfortunate situation where we are going into the piccolo junior phase and the boss is at like zero health this sucks you didn't even super at all um okay so 5 12 wow that's a lot put him in slot one let's just let's just get uh let's just get one super i guess there's not much else we could do here we are getting unlucky with how the the hp totals are are playing out here this guy's not supering ever all right nice 12 million attack stat he's dead he's not living this Um, yeah, this is, I'm not, I'm not even playing around here. Let's just get out of here. Let's just get it. Get me out of this phase. Yajirobe would die right instantly to this. So, um, yeah, let's get the green orbs for Kid Goku. And it's good. Nice, he's guarding, which means he's going to grab some extra defense. Okay. The faster we get out of this phase, the better. All right, that was good. You did a lot of damage. Watch him not even super on this turn. Wow, he's getting crushed. Oh my god, he's getting destroyed. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, okay, I guess we didn't need to use the, the Whis items. Oh my god, he's getting decimated. Yeah, he didn't even super, like we just destroyed him. Yadro was gonna kill, right? He has a, what, a 70% chance to crit, I think? Yeah, wow. <laughs> Okay, I guess. Uh, Piccolo still has his entrance animation buff. Do I just put Cooler in slot one? Do I? Man, I... I want to put Piccolo in slot one. Because I want to at least get him fully built up. He needs to do, I believe he needs to do two more super attacks. To get fully built up. So I, I actually will put Piccolo in slot one. The only like bad outcome here is if Broly is supering instantaneously. If he's supering right away, I think there's actually a chance we just straight up die. But if he's supering after Piccolo supers, there's no way we, we die. So I will do this. Let's just see how it goes. Is there, is there a chance we die? Yes, but I, I will just play this out. So let's do this. Uh, I don't really care about giving you many orbs, and then God Goku will give that. Alright, don't super right away. Please, 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 please. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, so more. hopefully he does at least one more super here. Alright, Broly, go ahead. Do your worst. Super us. <laughs> He's fully built up now. 15 million. Effective against all types. He can do one more. Give us a third one. Damn it. Super, super, super. Yes. Stupid idiot. What a moron this Broly is. <laughs> Alright, how much does this do? Oh, you don't say. 10. 10 damage. Well, he tried, I guess. Cooler is fine. And of course, God Goku's gonna be good. So, yeah, we're good. <laughs> it took 10 damage. <laughs> 10. Not 10,000. Not 10 million. 10. You sure did a lot of damage this turn, Broly. Alright, um. The friend is the one that's built up. Kid Goku, could he live if he gets supered? 
Probably. Three rainbow orbs with eight orbs in total. Would, would we die? I don't know. I think it would be actually be pretty close. We'll, we'll see. I think we pretty much saw what we came to see, though, right? We saw Piccolo eat 10 damage from this guy's super attack. I'm okay with that. Um, we also saw him do some pretty good damage, right? He, what, what, he did like a 13 million into a 15 million effective against all types double super. That was good. Uh, we did not fall below the HP threshold we needed to to get the giant transformation or the active skill, but at least we saw the active skill in the prior fight, so... Yeah, this character can do a lot of stuff. Alright, Broly, what are you gonna do? You, you're gonna just pinpoint Kid Goku and, and end our run? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what you do. No super Y. He's actually gonna super Kid Goku. Well... We got three rainbow orbs and eight orbs in total. I... What do we die? I actually don't know. I think we'd still take like 500k at least, right? Even if we don't die. All right, well, how much does this do? We're about to find out. No support on this rotation for Kid Goku except his own. Oh, wow, that's a lot less than I thought. Okay, just kidding. Kid Goku's pretty good. <laughs> okay, sure. All right. Well, guess what we get to do now? <laughs> guess what we get to do? All right. So let me explain this. So we get the giant transformation here for Piccolo Jr. Now, let's just assume, right? Let's just assume that... Broly had more HP than he has right now. So let's just say he had like five health bars and we actually could not kill Broly with this giant transformation. So what would happen is we either get two or three turns of the giant transformation. It's a 50-50 chance whether or not you get the third turn or not. Then what happens is the giant transformation ends. And because the game counts the giant transformation, as the same turn as the turn post the giant transformation, it actually means that the boss cannot super attack you. So we will leave the giant transformation. Piccolo will then be able to use his active skill in slot two. Then he goes into slot one. He picks up the slot two buff and the slot one buff. The boss cannot super. Piccolo does like five supers and they're all super effective against all types. And he's doing like 15 million attack stats and we are unkillable and Piccolo is doing a billion damage. <laughs> That's why this exact turn with Piccolo going giant form is pretty much an auto win button on any phase in the game. So anyway, let's continue by mopping the floor up with Broly. And I guess we will end with this. I think we saw a pretty, pretty good array of what Piccolo Jr. is able to accomplish in this game with the build that I've given him here. So let me know down below what you guys think of Piccolo Jr. here. Uh, again, really powerful character. A lot is based on RNG. I'm actually really glad we did see that one turn where turn one, he only supered one time. Incredibly, incredibly unlucky that that happened. But at least, you know, we, we were able to show that it's possible that that can happen. So with characters that are RNG, really, uh, you know, sort of base like this Piccolo Jr., you have really, really high lows. And you are sorry, you really, high, you have <laughs> really, really high lows. Yeah, you have really, really low lows and you have really, really high highs. So there is a very vast range of outcomes that could potentially happen with these characters because of how they're designed. So uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll just continue to let Piccolo Jr. absolutely stomp and mop the floor with Broly. Again, hope you guys enjoy this one, and I will see you all in the next one.